What's happening, everybody? It's Johnny Snow in the building again. And um, getting ready to do something to my ZPAP M85. Uh, my Zestafa, Zestava that is chambered in 556. Five, All right. So, you know, I just did a video just the, uh, yesterday where this gun right here was being shot. And you saw that it had little to no kickback. It didn't really have any muzzle rise or wasn't jumping all over the place. This is a great shooting weapon. I highly recommend getting your hands on one of these, all right? But with me, this is not how I'm gonna leave this gun. This is an incomplete um, weapon to me. First off, I still need to get my pistol grip, but my homeboy over at Kalash and the Carver, he's working on it. He's about to get me one that matches my wood. He did the wood and he's gonna do my um my pistol grip so got a package in the mail today all right so let's go ahead and open this on up <coughs> excuse me talking on the thing. all right and uh in this package let's see what all we got in here first off i got a um man i got two of them these are uh sling attachments for the stavas you know those are sling attachments and let's see what are these this is uh oh, this is a bolt all right and i also have this all right let's go ahead and open this up see what i'm working with uh, all right this right here is a CNC Warrior folding stock. This is a folding stock from CNC Warrior. All right, and uh, you may be wondering, you know, why this fool putting a stock on? You know, you're gonna get in trouble. You, you know, you don't need to be putting a stock on it. Don't do it. All right, first off, I'm not gonna get in trouble because I have permanently attached uh, the can on the front of this gun, which has brought it up to compliance this has been brought up to legal length to where i can go ahead and put a stock on the back instead of worrying about you know trying to find one of these braces that you know nobody can find all it takes is putting a spot well right at the front up here which a lot of you goes come with the spot weld on the um thread protector you know so take it to your gunsmith or anybody you know who can do it, go ahead and get that spot well put on there and you're good to go, all right? Check the laws of your state. You know, some people scream that you cannot bring a pistol into compliance, you know, that, you know, the NFA does not like that. Check the laws of your state. Make sure that it is legal where you live at, all right? Where I live at is legal, all right? I checked. We're good. I'm good. So, basically, I'm about to go ahead and put the stock on here and you know let's see what i'm working with when it's done all right i'll be back in just a minute all right i'm finally done with it and you know it turned out pretty good i like it i like it i got the stock on there and you know it it is one of them things where until it's all the way done you know, is is not going to give the full effect until it's all the way done, and I cannot stand this. Can't stand this. All right, but it's all good. It's all good because right now she is looking beautiful. I am liking liking how everything is coming along, coming together, coming together. All right, and. You know, just run down everything I have on here. I have the Midwest Industries Rail Gas Tube. I have the extension on here. And this is from um, Atlantic Firearms. That's where I got this from, Atlantic Firearms. Of course, the wood is from Kalash and the Carver. And um, I have a Tapco 556 magazine on it. And I have a CNC Warrior. CNC Warrior um, butt stop. All right. And again, 
You cannot put a butt stock on a pistol. You have to permanently attach your um, front end piece, get somebody to do a spot well for you. And I, I don't know if uh, doing something like uh, Loctite or whatever on it will work. You know, you, you got to have it permanently attached on there. And then after you have it permanently attached, you know, it is perfectly all right to put a buttstock on there. And again, that is in the state of Georgia. So in the state of Georgia, you can do that. But I don't know how it'll work in other states and all that. Check your local laws, check everything else and make sure that it is legal where you are at, where you are at. So, you know, basically, you know, just make sure you're within compliance and doing the right thing, you know, because I check out everything before I do it. And, you know, I am really liking this gun, really liking this. So just waiting on my pistol grip, pistol grip from uh, Kalashnikovar and, you know, hit me up in the comments and tell me what a good site to put on here would be. You know, because I, I'm i not sure what site I'm going to go with on this. And I'm open for suggestions. So, you know, hit me up. Let me know what you guys suggest. And, you know, maybe I end up putting it on there. All right. So, if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, go and hit that subscribe button. Go on and go through the catalog of videos I have. And check out all the stuff I done did previous to this one. And also check out the Snow Armory, the snowarmory.com. Check it out. And this is Johnny Snow signing out. You guys have a good one.